and dip. We're only a couple of degrees on the happy side of freezing right now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we're already in the 30s Ooh. and we've had our coldest night so far this season at 29 wow. degrees over the weekend. And yeah, it's going to be down close to freezing, if not below in a few spots again tonight. But if you're hoping for some warmer air, I've got that in the forecast again this week. We're going to do another roller coaster ride like we did last week. Beautiful fall color there on the campus of North Carolina A&T University, where as the sun sets, the temps drop quick. We've got 38 degrees in Greensboro with calm winds and pretty dry air. We are already nearing Thanksgiving. Hard to believe, right? Let's look at where we are in November so far. The warmest day was on the 10th when we had 77 degrees. That was just last week. Probably won't be quite that warm this week, but I think we will have temperatures above 70 at least one day. Coldest morning on the 14th at 29. We are below normal for rainfall this month by about an inch and a half and below normal for the year. That's the first time that's happened in quite some time. In fact, we'll talk about that more coming up. 52 was the high temperature out there today, so that was just about 10 degrees below normal, and our numbers are in the 30s. 32 in Reedsville, 35 in Yanceyville, 39 in High Point, and 36 in North Wilkesboro. Right now, Mount Airy is at 33 degrees. I should say Sparta at 33, Mount Airy at 35. We've got frost and freeze warnings issued for the coastal communities, so that'll be the end of the growing season all across the Carolinas. Tomorrow morning, kids at the bus stop, you're going to want to have them layered for sure. Gloves, hats, those temps are down close to freezing. But by afternoon, it will be warmer than it was out there today. So a high near 60, milder air, a little bit of a southwest wind that should help boost the numbers. The touch, we are close to 60 degrees tomorrow afternoon in the foothills and starting off close to freezing as well. Mountain towns near freezing and then temperatures getting into the 50s by late afternoon with just a few passing clouds. So we do have milder days ahead. We've got a small rain chance late Thursday and then another significant temperature drop just in time for the weekend. Here's the cold air, the temperatures that are below freezing in places like Winnipeg and just above freezing in Chicago. This is the storm system that's going to scoop up the cold air, bring in the clouds and yes, a small rain chance coming in here. They can use all the rain out west where they have been an extreme to exceptional drought. But you notice in our little corner of the map here, we also are pretty dry. We've got abnormally dry conditions across the triad, even a moderate drought shaping up in Charlotte and for our coastal communities in the triad. No rain today, only a quarter of an inch last week. I mentioned we were below normal for the month, below normal for the year. If we ended up below normal this year. It'd be the first time since 2016 when we were about two and a half inches below normal. Look at these super wet years last year and then remember 2018, which was a record year with 54 plus inches of rain. All right, let's talk about our rain chance on Thursday. It's warm ahead of it. Small rain chance for the nighttime hours and then it's out of here. Cold air rushing in highs in the 50s, morning lows 20s and 30s. Saturday and then highs that are in the 50s. There's a lot going on this weekend, including holiday parades. Yeah, we've got Burlington at 10 a.m. on Saturday. High Point 3 o'clock on Sunday. Reedsville at 4 on Sunday. Right now, dry skies, but chilly temperatures for the weekend.